So I just decided to take a break and film a little bit here of the progress that I've made. Try to walk you through step by step what I've done to get to this point. Currently, I'm about to take the helm out. I think I have everything disconnected that I need to. So I'm just going to walk you through uh, what I had to do to get to this point. So the first thing I did was I, I took out these two Phillips screws right there. And then you probably already know this just folds down like so. And then over here, there's three plugs in this harness. I disconnected those. And there's a wire harness back here. This is part of the VHF radio that was uh, just screwed in right there rather than disconnect all the wires um, because there's this wire here that I think goes out to the antenna. I just disconnected it and left it in with uh, left it in with the rest of the wire harness. And then I have this red wire here that came to the back of the, the breaker. That didn't have any type of connector on it. So uh, just disconnected that by disconnecting that Phillips screw there. Once I did that, the harness was completely separated from this harness right here. And that harness on the back side is being held in by two Phillips screws with zip ties that you should be able to see right there in the center of the screen. So I took those off and then the harness is able to just kind of be pushed to the side. So once I moved over to this side here, I have the back of the VHF radio. I've got the remote for the searchlight and then I also have the uh, 12 volt accessory plug there. This side was a little bit different because instead of disconnecting the wires, um, at some point in the harness, I had to disconnect them from the back of these units here, which was pretty easy. Just want to make sure that you're very careful disconnecting them here because those spade connectors uh, or those terminals could break off pretty easily. So just be careful when you're pulling those wires off. So once I got that disconnected, this lower harness here uh, was pretty much free and you know didn't have anything holding it into the helm itself. So I should be able then to get the helm moved over. So once that was done, I moved up here, and you have to remember that at this point the windshield was still on. If I was to do it over, I would probably take the windshield off first. The windshield is only held on by nine screws. Uh, it's really, really simple to take it off, and once I get down from the boat, I'll show you where those screws are and how you get to them. So in order to get the helm loose, I had to, uh, the first thing I tried was taking out this compass, right? Once you take the compass out, you have access to the two brackets that are holding this in. Now, what I learned was that it was much easier to get to those brackets and screws by taking out these gauges. So to take the compass out, you just had four Phillips screws right here. To take the gauge cluster out, you just have the, uh, it looks like there's eight screws right there holding that in. So once that was out, let me just move this door over here. See if there's enough light in here. There may not be. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot of light in there. Right in there. Okay, so if you're looking toward the back right there, you'll see the top of that gray bracket. That gray bracket has two screws holding it in. So I just had to reach in there with a Phillips screwdriver. The longer the screwdriver, the easy it'll be. Just had to reach in there to get that out. Then on this side, you have a similar setup. You've got the bracket being held in there. So you have two screws that are going vertical and two that are, or I'm sorry, three that are vertical and two that are horizontal. So I took the two horizontal screws out with a Phillips screwdriver. They came out pretty easily. And you know, up here, that's all you really have holding the helm in. It's just those, those four, those four stainless steel screws. So once those are out, I proceeded to do my best to disconnect the wire harness here for the gauges. So I left all the wires on the back of the gauge, and I think that that should be okay doing that and being able to disconnect the helm. It was a little tricky because I had to go down here and just make sure all the wires are disconnected. To be honest with you, at this point, I still don't know if I have all the wires. I think I do. I know that the the hose or the tube for the speedometer is still connected on the back side. Tried to pull that off, um, wasn't able to. At this point, I don't think it's going to be an issue. And then the other thing that's still connected is the linkage for the steering wheel. So I'm not sure if that's going to become a problem or not. So really, all you have holding in the helm is the bracket that's right here. 
you have that other bracket that's right here. And then there's also a bolt down here. It's hard to see because I took the bolt out, but there's a bolt coming through. Um, it's maybe like, I apologize, it's so dark, it's hard to see. But right where my finger is, it's right in there. And you'll see it because the bolt sticks out about an inch. So to get that bolt out, all you have to do is get a socket on it, which is pretty easy to do. The problem is that the bolt, for me at least, started spinning from the other side. So what I had to do is go down in the mid cabin and I had to hold that bolt from the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the camera, go down in the mid cabin, show you where that bolt is. Okay, so I'm down in the mid cabin here. Now, I'm in the mid cabin, I'm looking toward the bow of the boat so over here you have the mirror, and that would be the um, access to get in and out of the mid cabin. And then right here you have this panel just in front of the AC vent, and there's your access door. This panel was held in, I believe it was four screws. So you have a screw right there, a screw right there. You've got a screw up underneath right there, right? And then you had another one right there now those screws they're right here get these white plastic well it's a clear cap a clear washer and you get the white plastic cap you can just pry them off with a, a regular or slotted screwdriver which is pretty easy to do once you get this panel down you know i would advise you to not drop the panel the whole way down it only needs to come down maybe four or five inches as you can see i just have it resting on the wall right over there but you don't want to drop it too far down because this side over here this corner here, it seems to be bolted through from the other side. I couldn't get to it. And you wanna be really careful because you don't wanna to put too much pressure on that side. All you have to do is drop this portion down just far enough to get to that bolt that's right there. So this is the other side of that bolt that was sticking through. So what I'll, I'm gonna to try to push it through so that I could get to the other side and show you, but it's not gonna work because uh, the helm has moved so it's in the way so anyway that's where the bolt is right there all i had to do is get a phillips screwdriver on that because it was like i said earlier it was spinning when i was on it with the ratchet at the other end so i came down here put my impact driver on it i had a wrench up on the other side just kind of holding that nut from spinning i was able to back it out pretty quickly and then now that is able to come out so essentially there shouldn't be anything else holding the helm in so we're going to move back up to the cockpit i'm going to pause the camera for a second Okay, so now we're back up in the cockpit, and to the best of my knowledge, everything should be removed and out of the way. Um, the only thing I want to show you real quick before I try to pull the helm out is I want to show you the access to the screws in the windshield. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera, jump down to my driveway, and show you the windshield. Okay, so here's the windshield, and as you know, there's a black strip that goes in right here, right? And that strip covers the screws. But if you'll see, there's the holes right there for the screws. There's nine of them. All you have to do is pull that black weather stripping out. You'll have access to those screws. You can pull those screws right out. The screws came out really easily. It was not difficult to pull them out at all. Once they came out, I was able to just slowly pry up on the windshield. I did use a razor and just made, you know, cut the seal in a little bit to kind of break that seal because I didn't want to put too much pressure on the windshield when I was prying it up. Worked really well. The windshield took no more than five minutes to get out. And like I said before, if I was to do this project again, the windshield would be the first thing I take off. Uh, it really is that easy to take off. And, you know, I'd never taken a windshield off before. I thought that I would have to pull the panels of glass out from the track. Um, had I known it was this easy, I probably would have done this project a couple of years ago because this this was actually the most intimidating part of the job for me but there's really no reason for it it's really very simple okay so i'm back up in the cockpit now so this is where the windshield was and you'll see the uh the, the screw holes right here so i'm gonna have a lot of work to do just cleaning up the caulk but that that shouldn't be too difficult right so with the windshield out with all the brackets off should be able to get the helm out. I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down. Um, there's a chance that I, I missed a few wires. You know, my advice would be just take your time, 
and and really be slow with trying to pull the helm out that way if you did miss any wires you're not going to tear them or or um cut them by accident by pulling too hard just make sure nothing's getting held up uh, to get to this point it's really only maybe two hours of work if that um you know had i been able to watch a video and see what had to be disconnected and where it was located I could probably get to this point within an hour really is that easy the, the biggest challenge for me was just knowing what needed to be disconnected and where those items were so let me go ahead and put the camera down and uh, I'm gonna pause the camera for a second I'm gonna see if I can get this helm lifted out of here okay so I don't have the helm out completely but I thought I would take a break and film this backside because this might help you have a better understanding of what you're trying to do when you're disconnecting the wires. So I'm just going to sort of pan around slowly here so you can see where the different wires are and what you're gaining access to in the beginning. So this harness down lower here, this is, um, sorry, this is what I disconnected first, right? And actually now I see this wire right here does have a connector right there that I could have disconnected. So you could have left this attached. I thought it was just as easy to take those two screws out. Um, this right here goes to the remote for the stereo, so I could pull that apart. I have one more wire here that I can disconnect. I've got my steering linkage here. Not really sure. Not really sure how that comes apart, so I might have to work on that. And then this is the cable for my speedometer, which as you can see has a lot of pressure on it. So I'm gonna to have to get a pair of pliers, see if that can come off. Ironically, the speedometer on this boat doesn't work, which isn't an issue because I get the speed from my chart plotter. Um, so if I ruin that, I don't really, I'm not really too concerned, but I wanna try not to. So that's kind of what you're working with here. Now you could see there's one of the brackets and there's the other bracket. Um, right there those two holes directly in the center of the screen is where this bracket here is attached and then that hole there those those holes in the center of the screen is where this uh this bracket right there is attached and then the only other thing you have is you have that bolt that comes through comes through that hole right here but this is kind of the first time here to take a look down at the track you can see how dirty it is um, I've washed this track out many, 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 many times. I've spent a lot of time washing it out, hoping that that was the issue, that it was just dirty. But I can assure you that's not the case. There's definitely an issue with the the tracks and the glides and everything. They're just worn out. So, um, But I'm at the point now where I could at least... I think I could at least take the door out because I, I can get to the tracks. So I really don't even know if I need to do more with the helm. So I'm going to grab my screwdriver and uh, see if I have enough room here to go ahead and remove that door. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera here, and this will be the end of part two. Part three will hopefully be showing you what it looks like when the door and the, the tracks are removed. Thanks for watching.